hey devs welcome to web style press if you are new to this channel i invite you to subscribe and join us hit the subscribe button and click bell icon in this video we are creating a flexbox based login page it has got 100 percent height login page with flexbox with two columns columns are of 100 percent height one column contains bottom aligned text like introduction of the page or some text and the second column contains the login form that is center and middle aligned horizontally and vertically and this is a special thing about it content alignment control in flexbox column is our topic of the video so as you can see i have got this it, this page here and i have linked a few files with it and i am using it to bootstrap and uh, i have got fonts and i have got f google fonts that i don't need here and then i have linked the page to the custom.css file and that's it i do not need jquery i do not need uh, Twitter bootstrap JS file so let's start creating the HTML for the page so we have got it's a custom flexbox based page so we have got this class and we will use flex raw and then we will use some we can use some uh, custom class like account wrap or account wrapper and then we will use columns so this is flex call and then here's go uh, here is the another column so we have got two columns for this uh, flex and uh, this is let's use half and left here and he let's use half and right classes here and then use inner class here and this is the inner text inside the uh, flexbox column so inner will have a login box and uh, the text so this is the first uh, column so it will have a heading and that is flexbox login layout and then we will have a paragraph that will be the just a dummy text and uh, this is the second column and s for the second column i intend to use the bootstrap form so inside the inner we will need this thing in here and uh, inside this i will use a our form let's name it login box and then we will have a class here like form group and inside form group we will have label label like email address and then we will have input and in this input is type will have its type that is text and then its class will be form control so this is the form control and uh, so we have got this form group so let's duplicate it and now here we need password for password its type will be password and it will be form control and then we need a button this is the form group and uh, below the form group we need a button 
and button will have a class of btn and btn dash block and btn dash primary let's use these and uh, its name its text will be sign in so this is the structure of our html let's see what we've got here so we have got a form here and also i want to use an image for this form and the image i am getting the image from here from pixels by lisa uh, pixels so this is the image and its info is it is not attribution required for you to use so by lisa this is the image that i will use in the uh, left side of the column or uh, of, of flexbox so this our page let's style our flexbox so we have got a uh, flex raw so flex raw let's make this flex raw uh, flex actual flex display flex and then display flex its direction is uh, direction draw and it's understood and then we have got two columns inside uh, this flex raw these are flex call and uh, flex call so these flex call are now by default columns of this flex raw okay so account wrap is this class I want to use this class as well so account wrap I this is the actual like this is flexbox I am using 100% height for this and then it is half and for half and left half has got left and right classes For this one, see this half, this is the half and left, this is half and right. You can target this class as well, by the way. And uh, half left. So this is the first column that will have background image. Background image and background image will be this will be the url here and the url will be the images uh, no it's not in the images it's in the directly in the folder bg dash i uh, jpg jpeg so background is this one background size will be cover and then background repeat it should not repeat and then background position background position should be 50% and 50% and also this is the left side and justify content justify content okay so we uh, use first of all we use its width width we will use 50% uh, for the flex column let's see what we have got we have got this one okay so something is wrong here so body HTML min height min height should be 100% and then body should have height of 100% because we want uh, flex box and column of 100% uh, height so let's see um, not in the console so this is the column and this is the raw raw has got the height that is 100 percent so body body has got issue and uh, body this is the body it is not 100 percent body is not 100 percent 
Let's try min. Min height, nope. So 100% height is not working for the body. And uh, height 100%. So we will use HTML for we will use height hundred percent for HTML, not min height. So now it is like this. So this is our flex and this is column two columns in flex. So we want this text to be here below here and this form to be in the center. So let's do this. Our how uh, this one will have a padding of padding should be forty pixels. Let's just forty pixels padding and color should be white. Color should be white and perhaps color for the left should be white. And then H2, uh, this left half and left left has got some other elements like H2 and uh, font weight, let's do it 700. And then this left area should not show at max width 991 display none it should be displayed none this left area this left area this one at the rate of media all and max width i want to hide this area when the screen width is small display none and uh, also justify content justify content let's use justify content let's use flex dash end and let's see what happens so this is the scenario all right so Display flex, flex call, display flex, flex direction draw, and flex direction column. So let's see now, yes, it is working now. So this is necessary whenever you create a flex display flex use flex directions otherwise this justify content flex and was not working for column so at the right side we will use justify content to be center and it is in the center now. And if we will uh, resize the browser, then this one. And we want to adjust this. I we want uh, this block in the center horizontally in the center and so this is the half and uh, 
we want this half that is the column and uh, 100 percent when the max width will be 991 but this one left box left column will be display hidden at this scenario and uh, yeah and there will be inside the this one we have got a let's see login box so let's target that we have not created styles for that login box and we want it we want to limit its width max width 400 px and its margin will be zero auto and then uh, it's got login box has got label inside it label inside it that is uh, but do we need to style the labels and input because they're bootstrap based so now it has got this one and it is browser resizing and uh, when sufficient width is reached we have got our first column so this is first column so the flex box full page flex box with two columns one column has got uh, content at the bottom and the second uh, column has got content in the middle so this is how you can control and create an awesome login layout by using flexbox and with 100 percent column height uh, and uh, you can even control the content alignment inside the columns so i hope you like this video if i missed anything or you have something to add you can comment down below ask questions related to this topic if you haven't already subscribed subscribe to the channel and hit bell icon to receive updates join us on social media links are in the description below stay tuned for more updates i will see you in the next video